that it takes roughly seven years or more to really eradicate them with consistent uh, consistent work, plucking them, digging them, whatever it is. Hey everybody, thanks for coming back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on the video. My name's John. This is Delighted Acres Farm. And today I am back out here. It's been a few weeks that I was out here digging sand burrs and it's time to mow again, but I don't want to mow and spread all the sand burrs out all over the place. and. I have not been able to get back out here and dig, but y'all, out here, you can't see it with the Osmo action, but, and I can't zoom in, but over here, there are, there are probably 25 sandbur plants, or I don't know exactly, they're not a plant, they're a weed, but there's probably 25 that I can count right there and there are as many as a dozen to two, to two dozen with each clump that are just full of sandburrs. So let me uh, pick real quick here. We just, now, I, like I said, I, I showed this on another video, but you see all those little sandburrs Y'all, those are all seeds, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's about 16 or 18 little sandburrs on one little head, and there are a dozen to two dozen of these on each little clump. And y'all, the thing about sandburrs, they don't grow everywhere. A lot of y'all, y'all don't have those. Y'all have something where you are, maybe, like stick tights and stuff like that, but sandburrs themselves, y'all, they will get in your shoes and if you track them in, if you have carpet, then you're stepping on them barefoot eventually and they are a pain, literally, they are a pain in the foot. And so, like I said, I don't wanna spread those out and it has been so dry and so hot this summer that there has not been a good amount of grass to drown them out. So here's the thing about sandburrs. They don't like progress. So if you've got a nice healthy lawn of grass and you're watering uh, regularly or you're getting regular rain, sandburrs don't like to grow like that. 
they like it when it's more dry, when it's more hot. And so this summer was perfect for growing sandburrs. But if we would have had the rain, if we would have had grass that grew, we may not have had as many sandburrs. They would, they would still be around, but so anyway, all that to say, I'm back out here this morning and it is, uh, it's Saturday, the third day of September. And this is, what's it, Labor Day weekend. So this is a three day weekend. I'm probably gonna be out here a couple different times, but for now I'm gonna be out here in the front yard, just trying to get them out of the front yard and out close to the road. Y'all, we've got some back in the backyard that are, the bunches are bigger than dinner plates. And so anyway, I'm, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna get up as many as I can. We're gonna, I don't have enough buckets and stuff to get them all and it is humid today. Y'all, we've had some little bits of rain recently. There is a weather system coming in, and we're kind of just in that spot where it's humid, it's gonna be hot. And so I'm I should have done this. I should have got out here earlier. That's the way it is. I sometimes I procrastinate, and that's just the way it goes. So anyway, I'm gonna do what I can right now. Monday, I might get back out here early and try to get more. Out, along, out around the property and so yeah we'll see how it goes but y'all wish me luck Okay, so, so my, my best option is to use a little spade shovel, but sometimes it's just easier to reach down and grab the bunch of them if it's easy to grab around the base. But you gotta be careful doing that because sandburrs like to stick. That's why they're called stickers. And I just grabbed a handful and y'all, these gloves, they don't stop the sandburrs from poking through. So I'm going to keep going, but I'm going to, I'm going to be a little more careful. Um, real quick, I want to show you how these things grow. I haven't mowed, but probably once in the last eight weeks because it was so dry, so hot, but it's almost time to, it's time to mow. But because I haven't mowed, these sandburrs have grown up. They have grown up in the yard and they're reaching high. But if I would have been mowing regularly this summer, they would have spread out along the ground and stayed out of the reach of the mower blade just so that they would put on a head. So let me show you real quick here what it looks like down inside one of these clumps of sand I hope careful in uh, one of these clumps of sandburrs so I don't know if you can tell the way it grows it's a big clump and the middle of the middle of it is right there and so this all all of this right here grows out of this central hub and like I said they are growing up because I have not been mowing. But if I had been mowing, then that central hub, instead of growing up like this, would be flatter and growing out along the ground so that they'd put on that head. And then if I mowed, it doesn't matter because then it would get spread around. But 
it wants to put on that head it wants to have the seeds so that they can be broadcast out and anyway that's what that's what it looks like down in the middle and like i said there's a whole bunch of them out here and that's what i'm doing today at least for now and then i'm gonna go do something else but uh, y'all thanks for joining me today i don't know how much of this i'm going to show because it's just digging sandburrs but i thought i'd just let you know what it was like show you what they're looking like how they grow and all that stuff and so i'm going to get back at it so you guys i'm going to put you down for a little bit and uh i'll see you in a bit Okay, I, I don't know how long I've been uh, digging, but it's about 11 seconds on the time lapse. So I don't know how much that is, but it's quite a while. So let me show you how much I've got so far. So my little blue tub here is, uh, it's almost full. I have a little bit that I still have to go to fill that up. And I got two five gallon buckets that I've brought out here to help me like I said I don't have enough space there's not enough room in the blue tote or in the buckets the two buckets to collect all that is out here at the moment I'm gonna do what I can it's starting to get hot y'all like I said it's pretty still there's not much of a breeze at all but uh, I gotta grab some water I'm gonna get back out here and I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you here in just a few seconds how much I got done, and uh, then I'm going to go about my day because y'all's hot, and I'm sure there's something inside that I could probably be doing. Like I said, I'll probably get out here again on Monday, on Labor Day, and get out here earlier when it's cooler, and get some more done. So I may not even be mowing today because, woo, y'all. Anyway, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to grab some water. So as I was walking back up to the house, um, as I was walking through the front yard, I was noticing little spots where there was a clump of sandburrs, another clump of sandburrs. Y'all, these things will grow anywhere and they will pop up, it seems like overnight. And the problem with sandburrs is when you see a pat when you see a patch of them, you almost have to get them up right then. Because if you don't, you'll forget about them or you can't find them again. And so I was thinking maybe if I got some marker flags, you know, like the, the wire, um, the wire flags put out here in the yard every time I, every time I see one of the sandbur patches and then uh, that way I know where it is, I can go back and, and uh, find it later. That way I'm not trying to search the yard all over again, so. Anyway, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my water and uh, get back to it. All right, well, I've, I've about had it for today. Y'all, it's hot. Like I said, it's hot. And here in the last little bit, every time I bend over to actually pull stuff up, when I stand back up, y'all, it almost goes black because I'm getting close to passing out. So I'm gonna call it quits. But I have been looking for the last 15 minutes because I saw a um, a bunch of the sandburrs and I I'm, couldn't find it, couldn't find it, couldn't find it. And so as I'm about to leave, see the orange bucket? Just to the left of it is this little bunch of sandburrs. But y'all from across the yard, it just looks like most other weeds. And so I finally found it. I'm gonna dig these up and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be done for digging them today. Like I said, I'll probably get out here on Monday and try to do some of the rest of the yard. But if I don't have to mow over them, that's all better. Cause like I said, I don't want them to spread out. And that's exactly what happens when you mow them over. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna call it quits for now. Oh, you just thought I was done. One thing I was gonna say is that uh, I've heard it said many times from other folks whenever they're trying to get rid of sandburrs that it takes roughly seven years 
or more to really eradicate them with consistent uh, consistent work, plucking them, digging them, whatever it is, and then uh, getting rid of them by burning or putting in the trash or whatever, whatever, however you do that. But uh, seven years, y'all, seven years of constant work trying to get rid of uh, sandburrs. And at one time, my mom had done that and there were no sandburrs in the front yard at least. And, uh, but y'all, seven years is a long time. So as long as, as long as I stay consistent and stay faithful of digging them up by the root, now that's important by the root um you don't get the root they'll just grow right back and so yeah anyway so i did actually get out here i have mowed the front yard i found some that i was looking for so i just mowed a circle around the bunches and i'm going to go right out here right now i'm going to go ahead and dig those up <sighs> at least i will have most of them out of the front yard and it feels like a sense of accomplishment so Y'all, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you've been here a while or if you're brand new, thank you so much. It really means the world to me that anybody would even want to click on the video and watch. So you guys are awesome. If you would like the video, subscribe if you're not. Ring the notification bell so you know when new stuff comes out. And I will see you on the next video. And y'all have a great rest of your day, whatever day it is that you are watching this.